Okay, y'all. Usher. Usher got me together and I'm still recovering. You know when you get up there in age, it take you just a few more days or maybe a week or so to really recover fully? Because I have decided, because especially as a mom, when you go to an event and enjoy yourself, you don't have the recoup time because you're thrown right back into the lion's den as soon as you return home. So you don't have that recuperation time that we once had. Okay, Ken's mommy needs your help to help me pick out an outfit to go to see Usher. Okay. okay. That's cute. Okay. Tippy toes. Oh, you got it. Good job. All right. That's the one? I'm going to do rock You Are you going to go on the stage or are you just going to watch? I'm definitely just going to watch. I don't know if your daddy would appreciate me being on stage <laughs> with Usher. I thought you were going to do this. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Girls, don't be fighting in there. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we are getting ready to go to the Usher concert. I want to just give you a little bit of the outfit of the day. Because I thought it was real cute. I wanted to do something that was very much so my style. I love to say that I'm like a sporty chic, athleisure chic, athletic chic, tomboy chic. That's what it, I was looking for. I was searching for it. Like I love a little tomboy chic situation. So I have my Hanifa dress. Excuse me. I have my Fumi the label. So I have my Fumi the label dress. Um, it's very embellished and girly with the, the crystal detail and so i wanted to play off of that and take it more tomboyish so then i have on my pleather pretty little thing cargo shorts okay okay got this cute watch ring from one of the ladies at the pop-up last weekend and then i paired it with these fun little silver shoes that i got from Nordstrom rack two years ago so that is the look. I'm hoping that you can see me. Is it giving? It gives what I want to give because I need it to be comfortable. I need it to be cute. I need it to be not too hot right now, but not too cold later on after we come out the concert. It was a lot of factors and I feel like this did it all for what I needed it to do. Baby. we want let me let me peel back the layers what's up y'all it's your girl natiana welcome back if you have been my a1 since day one hello to all my new subbies what's up girlfriends on this side of the internet we are just trying to tackle adulting while surviving mommy in. and if that's something that sounds familiar to you whether it be through lifestyle beauty travel um and a lot of looks and a lot of laughs then you're in the right place so y'all I went to the Usher concert with my best friend and my best friend's mama, who's like my second mom. And when I tell you we had a time, we had a time, but it took me way longer to recover than, um, than I thought it would have taken. No stop, period. What Jamie Foxx is talking about, if he said so. Um, Race, <laughs> you ready? Y'all ready to see Usher? Usher, okay. Usher, go Usher, go Usher. <laughs> Marcus got us for the good. One hundred percent combed cotton. All right. Okay, y'all, we got our shirts. Do you go to a concert and buy the shirts in the line or what? If you don't buy the shirts from the we man. Got ours from the booster. Yeah, you, if you don't get it from the booster, what are you doing? 
Come on. Mel? Huh? <laughs> here it is, right here. Here's my shirt. Brush, a hundred percent brush cotton. Yes, it is. <laughs> he was trying to get three for fifty, but he wouldn't do it. In that damn light, <laughs> you're VIP, right? Now. We good. Thank you. So, where, so where do I go? Anywhere? Oh, okay. Ain't too many doing VIP. All right, right going to the front, chat. Go as far as Jesus will take you. <laughs> hold on, baby. I got a cash got shit on. I don't have five. I don't. I don't have ten. Where's that extra dollar? I was on the counter. It's on the counter. So how did the situation work out? We got in the VIP for the forty. Right. And it was supposed to be eighty. Right. And what she said? She said, "I give you to. I give it to you for forty if you give me forty dollars." But you got to turn that light off. You got to turn that light off. <laughs> I know. Made a good time. You have anything you want to say before we see Usher? Oh my God, I'm one of your biggest fans. You were my first concert at the age of nine. You and Mary J. Blige at the Paramount. Okay, let's do it. Let's... One thing the bar is always going to be is booming, okay? There she is. Ready to go to our seat?
Okay, I'm about to come pick her up. Who is it? 
Oh, not the police pulling them over, child. All this crime, and they pulling people over on the highway. Woo-wee. Roll down all the windows, she said. Come on, Mel. Come on, baby. You got it, girl. You almost there. <laughs> I started this video with the intent of giving you a behind the scenes vlog experience of the Usher experience and then baby girl was just having too much fun so I forgot to talk to y'all I forgot to tell y'all what was going on I forgot to do all the things and i apologize because i'm new to this okay i'm new to this i'm not yet true to this so y'all just be patient with me i'm gonna get better um but i wanted to just come back and revisit the fact that i was literally at my personal full cup level i was tired from work um people was getting on my nerves to be quite frank um, you know, just, I have, I have figured out some things at work that really irritated me in the depths of my soul. And I was busy. I, you know, already had the mom thing going on. My husband is in school. It just was a lot going on at one time. And so I was at my full cup. And for me, I was like, okay, you need to retreat. You need to rest. But that concert that concert baby that concert came at the right time because i was able to have so much fun and i was able to release so much all of it like because i haven't been working out i haven't had the the release um venue the arena for releasing and i just had so much pure uninterrupted fun for the two for the really the four hours that we went out because we went to dinner before as you will see and then we went to the concert and a time was had and one thing about Oakland baby is that the people are gonna show up and they're gonna show out so it was entertainment at every turn entertainment at every turn and um ba I basically had a revelation that baby you do not need another energy drink you needed to have a good time and so I just want to talk to y'all a little bit about that because I feel like as moms, one of the revelations that I had with my own husband was you know we was party hardy people together like i have to roll this down because i'm gonna die in here talking to y'all with no air down so yeah so one of the things that my husband and i actually had to learn was because we were you know a fun couple the go out couple the turn up team um once i had kinsley I just wasn't interested in going out like that. Like, it, there's nothing about a club that interests me. There's nothing about a, really even a lounge setting. Like, I just, if I'm going to have a good time, I want to travel. And I'll go to a club when we, you know, in Dubai or, you know, somewhere else. Um, I want to to meet up with my girlfriends in another city or another state or another country, quite frankly, which goes back to traveling. I want to do experiences like the spa and you know um hot air balloon like i want to spend my free time on things that are going to fill me not deplete me and me going out in the evening to drink in a loud arena i sound so old in a loud room and then be hung over the next day it's just setting myself up for failure because them kids gonna haze me the next day they don't care that you was out um so yeah, I think my interests have just shifted. And so back to what I was saying, when I first had that realization, um, after having my first daughter, I had a lot of animosity towards my husband because he was still going out. He was still having fun with his friends. And it's something that he liked to do. And so I was like, ugh, who does that? You know, I was like turning my nose up at it because it no longer was an interest of mine. 
And so um, now that I'm more aware of that and I'm not forcing myself into, you know, like, oh, my husband likes it. Let me go with him. But no, baby, because you're not going to have a good time. Then he's not going to have a good time. Then y'all going to be irritated with each other because you're not having a good time, which is making him not have a good time. And so I say all that to say I have really figured out what it is that I like and what makes me refuel with, without um, without lack of better words. And the thing about it is, originally, like I said before, you would think the answer was rest. And while the answer still may be rest, it was just doing something that I really enjoy. And so that's what Usher was. And so I just wanted to give you guys that preliminary. As you guys are watching the video and seeing me, um, I first of all think that I am probably top five best people to go to a concert with because one thing I'm gonna do is enjoy every minute of it and I've always been like that even you know with the kids without the kids but without the kids it's the next level because I'm gonna turn it up I'm gonna turn it up because I know how much time I got left <laughs> I know how much time before I have to return back to them and so I'm very aware of those things at all times. So I'm gonna have a good time. And this is, we we had um I had two cocktails at dinner, but I didn't drink the whole time of the um the Coliseum. So I can't say it was um altered fun. This was pure, genuine, good, childless times. And um, I just want to leave y'all with this. I implore you to figure out what it is that you enjoy. What fills your cup as a woman? Not as a mom, not as a wife, not as a worker, not as a business owner, not as a sister, not as a daughter, not as a this, not as a that. Because we have all these titles and these roles. But oftentimes we forget what we need. And so I was just so happy to have that release um, and enjoy Usher the way I did. And he put on a fabulous show. But I mean, just every, it was good energy around me. And I think when you, as you get older, that's half of the battle is really being honest with yourself about what it is you need. And I think that's what your 20s and your 30s are really for, self-discovery, because you have to figure out what it is that I want, what is it that I need, and how can I survive in the space that I'm in, right? So we all don't have the luxury of saying, well, I don't want to work. Work irritates me. I don't want to work. We don't all have that luxury because then bills are still due on the 1st and the 15th. Um, but within that, where are my stresses coming from? How can I uh, cope with my stresses? How can I combat my stresses? Um, I oftentimes try to think of things that I can remove from my plate. How can I uh, shift things around? Can I ask this person for help? Can I ask that person for help? Can I do a trade-off with another mom? Can I, um, you know, say no? That's a tough one for me. And that's his own, that's his own 30-minute discussion. Um, but yeah, so I hope this was I, like, self-revelation. Uh, re re it was a self-revelation for me. So hopefully it could be similar for you. Um, and just a reminder to you more so than anything to figure out what it is that will fill your cup, um, what your interests are, your interests are, um, and schedule those things, right? So originally I went to Usher that, um, weekend and I was supposed to go again this weekend and meet my girlfriends in Miami to go again this weekend. And I was going to give y'all a double whammy Usher vlog, but that did not happen um the lovely the evil hurricane not lovely this this hurricane is coming through um florida and into the the south and so uh not a good idea to be down there so i leave y'all with <laughs> a very impromptu uh, vlog week of me enjoying myself fully and so hopefully y'all can feel the enjoyment, the enjoyment, the enjoyment. Allow me to enjoy my, uh, uh. allow me to enjoy myself. Uh. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to cue that song. Allow me to enjoy myself. Uh. Allow me to enjoy myself. Uh. I'm gonna go listen to that. Anyway, I'll see y'all next week.